Behind me here, inside this blue container, is the only stationary, fully automatic, 24-hour UFO observatory on the planet. In Norway, the remote mountain valley Hestalen became world famous after almost continuous observations from the early 80s on. Strange lights moved up and down the mountainsides every night over long periods, just above the treetops. In contrast to many other countries, scientists arrived and established a permanent UFO observatory. The light phenomena here in Hestalen in Norway started uh, in late 81, well, uh, with a lot of sightings. At the most, it was 20 sightings a week. The local people here started to see the light down in the valley, sometimes close to their houses, and uh, they were wondering, what could this be? And there were, some was a little bit afraid too, because no one could give them any answer. What could it be? Radar and cameras were soon to pick up astonishing pictures of the unexplained light phenomenon. This picture is taken with 1 60th of a second exposure. The phenomena behaves very different. Some is moving very slowly and some lights can move very fast. The fastest speed we have ever measured was 30,000 kilometers an hour. But the local residents claim to have seen more than just lights. The observatory shoots pictures automatically every minute and puts them on the internet. Many amazing shots have been captured. After an automatic video recording system was put up, one year of waiting passed before the Hestalen phenomenon is caught on camera. Zooming in and slowing down the film, something really astonishing is revealed. A smaller second light seems to appear from underneath, joining the main light. Is something collected by the light? Landings were also reported, and even solid proof was found of earth samples being taken in the midst of nowhere. Here, a two hours walk from the nearest dirt road, a two-ton piece of wet turf has been cut out with laser precision, lifted and placed a few meters away. No sign of machinery nor people. During a week in September 2007, a major survey was carried out by the university scientists, assisted by students with several observation units. On the fourth night of the survey, the phenomenon decides to show up. Then it, we had a big light that started out and moved very quickly north and south and gave us this very, very impressive uh, picture, which possibly is the best picture ever taken of the Hestalen phenomenon. The exposure time uh, was 30 seconds. So we see that the Hestalen phenomenon moves from uh, start up here and uh, moves down and then goes up again here. Uh, the distance here it's approximately maybe from 10 to 15 kilometers the distance it has covered and uh, uh, the camera has an optical grating in front of the lens and uh, this grating make this optical spectrum here the one thing that is uh, that surprises us with this spectrum is that it's uh, continuous 
the colors goes directly over in over a, in the other color here, and we see no the, no lines or dots here, which will give us a signal of that we have a gas that is burning. This looks like uh, optical spectrum from a solid object, or from uh, plasma with high uh, density. So it's still too early to say for certain what the origin of these lights is, and what these flying objects really are. But one thing we can state as a fact. The phenomenon is here, and it's real. And what about the UPAN sightings in Belgium? The Phoenix lights in Arizona? The UFO at Osaka Airport, Japan? The UFO landing in Voronezh, Russia? The ghost rockets in Sweden? The Col d'Avance sightings in France? The UFOs filmed in Milan, Italy? The UFO fleets over Peru? The Chinese scientists filming UFO at the Purple Mountain Observatory. It goes on and on.